<laughs> yeah, that's about what I expected. You see, when I started making that DK Oldies video, I went into it with the knowledge that most people were probably going to disagree with me as my video leaned far more on the positives of the website, while, as everyone else, simply Google DK Oldies, uh, you'll find a lot of negative videos, so I, I wanted to be a little different. However, being different actually sort of bit me in the ass. Don't get me wrong, I stand by my point in the video. As long as you know what to avoid, DK Oldies is a fairly decent way to get older games. But, you need to know what to avoid, because certain items have massive price markups that are absolutely ridiculous. However, in being a little bit nicer to the company, I've actually left out a few key details that I wish I went into a little bit more depth on in my original video. So, today I'm going to release this little extra rambling, uh, waffling, if you will, <laughs> of extra video to go over those extra details. I just said extra like four times, that's nuts. I'm also doing it because my actual video for January, the review on the Doom mods, needs quite a bit more time in the oven. Uh, if you pay attention to the community tab, you'll have noticed that I got COVID around a week and a half ago. That put a massive damper on my editing process, so I'm going to need like another two weeks at the very least to get that video out. Hope you guys understand. Uh, <laughs> and without further ado, let's get into the extra facts. So, because my video tended to be more positive, I figured we'd start out with the few positives I forgot to mention in my original video. Thankfully, though, there's not too much, so hopefully, if you don't like them, you'll, you'll be satisfied pretty soon. So, whenever an item goes up for sale at DK Oldies, they have to go through a relatively deep cleaning process. Um, video game systems get the brunt of it because they get really cleaned up, they get scrubbed clean, pretty nice looking. Uh, depending on the severity of the damage, they get a couple of their, they get a couple things replaced. Uh, so if you have an old Game Boy, they fix the time battery, I think. Uh, just all in all, they, you know, do, do, do a quick little rundown on it. And that includes disc games, folks. Joey puts them through their reservoir maybe once or twice, just to buff out the scratches. Uh, like most of the things I covered in my videos, you can actually see the... You can see them doing this themselves on their TikToks. Uh, they're pretty open about it. Just gonna roll out with a couple smaller facts here. DK Oldies offers a money-back guarantee of 30 days, I believe. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. Uh, so essentially, if you receive your product and it's damaged or destroyed, or in my case, completely missing, uh, give customer service a call and they should honor their warranty and give you a and give you either a new copy of your game or a refund. They also provide free shipping on any order above $10. I saw a couple of you memeing this in the comments, but that's still a pretty good deal, I mean. And I mean, obviously, I only get lower dollar games, and because of that, the $10 free is actually pretty nice. It, it helps keep my cost low. But I imagine if I spent, like, $100 on a case copy of Metroid Prime Trilogies... Uh, the free shipping is like, oh, cool, here you go. <laughs> hey, thanks thanks for your, for your son's college fun. Don't worry, bro, shipping's free. <laughs> and for the most part, that is the largest things, at least on the positive side, that I forgot to mention. Or at least didn't go into too much depth on. Um, one last thing, I guess, would be to bring up the fact that all their systems get refurbished. And a lot of the people in the comments who enjoy the service, they point out the fact that they're cleaned and, uh cleaned and reliable like they're reliable they you know they work and since it's from a business i assume it's people feel a little bit more comfortable giving them their money and maybe they're willing to spend like a premium to receive fully working retro systems however like many of you also have pointed out in the comments uh the prices are insane hello 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 and welcome to the more negative side of dk oldies that i wish i went into a little bit more depth with uh starting out the console bundles. Now, this is something DK Oldies likes to push. Uh, whenever you go onto, like, a, whenever you click onto a system of your choice, it's one of the first things you see. System bundles next to games. Now, system bundles, as you can probably guess, are a bundle with the console, a controller, maybe two, and a video game or two. Now, this is where we get a little fishy, iffy, iffy on the pricing. <laughs> um, they're bad. 
Case in point. Like, for example, here, just went on their website, um, a Nintendo 64 with two off-brand controllers and Super Mario 64 is gonna run you back $239. That's the sale price, by the way. The original price is $280. And that's before shipping and, like, oh, wait, shipping's free, sorry. And that's before tax. Um... Pretty egregious, considering that I got my N64 for $26 from a family friend, so... And maybe you're thinking that, okay, that's fine, I'll just cut out the game, and maybe it'll... Maybe maybe then the pricing will make sense. Not really. Uh, so an N64 with just two controllers is gonna run you $184. Now that is slightly more affordable, I guess. However, I mean, here, let's take a look at eBay, see what the... See what the going rate is. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, that's... That's crazy. Okay. So, yeah, most... Most N64s by themselves go for about 128 to $130. But... Honestly, they go lower, too. If you, just, just take your time and scroll. Mo like, I'm seeing most of them are going for 120 not 184 Or, God forbid, 239 for it with one more game. Oh, let's not forget the fan favorite <laughs> N64 Explosion Pack uh, comes with what looks like four controllers, uh, Mario 64 and Mario Kart, uh, $354. My God. <laughs> it's not just like that with the N64. I mean, here, let's go to the original Xbox. Oh yeah, that's egregious. So, <laughs> an original Xbox with uh, just one controller is going to run you $260. That's the sales price, because the original price is $289. What? I I'm sorry. I mean, like, look at the games. The games are dirt cheap, for the most part. So, that's good, at least. Uh... <laughs> Hold on. Let's let's check. Let's check the price. Let's check the pricing on an on an on an original Xbox. Uh, okay. I mean, it's actually, it's a little bit better than I was think. It's it's a little bit better than I expected, but DK Elise is still an incredible markup. Um, from what I'm seeing, you can get an original Xbox for maybe like ooh, actually, there's a bit of variety. Wow, I should have given eBay more credit in my video because eBay is great. Look, these prices are not half bad. Um, what I'm seeing mostly hover around a hundred to a hundred thirty dollars. I'm pretty sure it depends mostly on their uh, visual, like aesthetic looks or custom models or whatever. But yeah, uh, they range from usually a hundred to a hundred thirty. You could find some for cheaper too if you're willing to get a little bit iffier. But yeah, so case in point. Avoid the system bundles, please. Do not buy your game systems from this site. Uh, they're very overpriced in my opinion. Not always, not always. Sometimes they're, there's like a sweet spot where it's like, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, but yeah, you, you just as a general rule of thumb, you're going to want to avoid these on most times. And yeah, that's more or less it. I mean, DK Oldies, not perfect, not by a long shot. Some of their games are marked up ridiculously out of nowhere, while the others remain decently priced. Now... Uh, retro game hunting is a bit of an oddity, because it depends on where you are, simply. Where I am currently, I have no retro game stores near me, and the closest one near me is a card shop that just happens to have retro games on sale, and their prices are pretty much just like DK Oldies. They, they sell SNES games for like a hundred bucks. It's like, oh boy, you want Spanky's Quest? 120. So honestly, DK Oldies, if you're like me, as actually works out pretty well for you. They're not crazy upselling most of their games, at least from what I can see. Uh, definitely avoid the system bundles, and I would say avoid Nintendo, all in all, as a general rule of thumb on that website. Alright everyone, that was everything I wish I had included in the original video, given I had a little bit more time to edit it. Also, uh, I don't know if the microphone's gonna pick it up, but forgive me if you can hear the washing machine in the background. But I would be remiss if I didn't thank you guys once again. It means a lot to me to have a video I've made actually get semi-viral. That's, it's not viral. It, it's 30k views. This is doing numbers. Find somebody who wants to listen to me. 
Whoa! The number is just genuinely unfathomable for me, and I've had a blast reading through all the comments. Um, I haven't responded to all of them, so I need to get back on that, but I read most of the comments. I love seeing your guys' differentiating opinions on whatever I'm talking about. It's... It's absolutely wonderful. I, I am so glad. Gl me glad's not the right word. Honored? I don't know. I'm happy. That's all I know. And I hope you guys are willing to stick around for my future content because I've got a lot of stuff planned. Uh, hopefully by at least the end of January, I can get out this uh, Doom mod video. And then after that Doom mod video, I'm going to be making a either a video on Minecraft, which I've been working on for quite some time, or a video on a little game called Neon White? Maybe? I don't know. I have a couple options for my next video. Uh, I'm gonna, like usual, put up the poll uh, when I post the video, so pay attention to that community tab, folks. It actually, I, I use it quite a lot, so you'll be able to interact with me fairly regularly. Anyway, guys, my name is Justin DG. Hope you guys liked the video, and I will see you next time. Peace.